Yeah. So I'm about to uh, let the homies tell a story real quick. It's a story uh, that's part of Nellis history. It's an event that's not, I'm not trying to glorify. I'm not trying to glamorize. This is a, a fucked up story if you think about it, because this is children that were stabbing other children. Children getting stabbed by other children. Uh, children stabbing a, a, a man to build a reputation for themselves. There was years of people's lives sacrifices behind this, uh, sacrificed behind this. And it was a brutal, brutal situation. Um, I'm sure everybody involved didn't come out the same. Um, and it was a, you know, it, it was a, a fucked up thing. Again, this is not meant to tear anyone down. Because I always say there's riders on all sides. Uh, there's riders from everywhere. And if, you know, somebody had to do the same thing, from uh, I'm sure they would. Right? That, that's the way it rolls. So, uh, yeah, this is a story, and I hope you guys find this informative. Yeah. So today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about an incident that happened in Nellis. Uh, it happened before I was there. Originally, what I wanted to do is I wanted to touch on it, but I wasn't there at the time. So uh, I can't really tell the, the authentic details. Uh, so I got two homies on the line. I got the homie Gangster and homie Flip. What's up, homies? What up, what up? Yeah, yeah. You know, and, uh, Nellis is known for being rowdy, uh, and maybe some people might say it was a little too rowdy where where people were unorganized. And I mean, the homies didn't have it together because we were rushing our enemies and we were, you know, it was on that gangbanging shit, right? But yep. this is an incident where, where uh, and I'm not trying to glorify what happened because unfortunately, there's a lot of homies that sacrificed a lot of time because of this incident, right? And, uh, yes, uh, but I do want to put it out there because this is, this is part of the, the Nellis history. So uh, uh, this is an incident that happened in, uh, in Nixon. No, was it Nixon or Taft? Taft. Taft, okay. And uh, you were there in Taft, right, gangster? Yes, sir. Room 13. And, AC site. Uh, and uh, <laughs> fucking uh, uh, and Flip, you you were in the institution at the time, right? So you, you got to yeah, deal with the... the yeah, you got to deal with the... Uh, Adam's the, the The consequences afterwards. <laughs> yeah, so... So, uh, so uh, gangster, if you can uh, just uh, let, let us uh, break it down and let us know what, 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 what was it that, that happened? All right. Well, what happened was uh, these fools. Uh, like I hear that they said the the Norteños were walking the line on the, but they never walked the line. They were on Monroe Cottage. They, uh, like they were just there. Whenever they hit the schoolyard, they would get rushed right away. Yeah. But they they could function on Monroe Cottage. Mm -hmm. They couldn't function on no other cottages. So uh, I got sent to Taft for kicking off something on Washington, and uh, when I got there, uh, th th there was like. At least 40 Norteños on lock in the lockup on Taft side and AC side, and there was only like seven homies. Yeah. In the in, on both sides, there was like six homies on Taft side, and me on the AC side. Mm -hmm. And they had, they had the Norteños. They were workers that they used to pass on our food, and they used to bang on us. They used to they, they used to bang on us, who bang on us or whatever, and uh, on our food on our trays, they used to spit on it. Oh they shit! Spit on the food when they, well, you know how they used to put it by the door on the floor. Yeah. Them fools used to spit on it. They'll knock on your door and make sure you look at them as when they're spitting on your food, so you couldn't eat your food. And uh, that that went on for a long time, for for like a couple, a, couple, a little while, a couple few days or whatever. But uh, I don't, I'm not too sure how those fools got fired. The the two Norteño workers got fired. I'm, I'm not too sure how they got fired, but they brought out two homies. One homie from Northside Bowling, another homie from San Jacinto, and them fools, uh, they slid me a kite and they they told me, "Hey, dog, we're about to do this and this and that," and I said, "Yeah, cool." And they were like, "You with it?" And I said, "Yeah." And they they wanted to do it after Thanksgiving, after haircuts. Yeah. And I said, "Yeah," because we really didn't get no haircuts on tap. So it was like, "Yeah, we'll do it after after that, after uh, Thanksgiving and haircuts." But it didn't happen after Thanksgiving, or uh, we didn't even get the haircuts. So what what happened one day was uh, uh it was a Sunday night and uh, these uh, the homies flooded the homies flooded the hallways so that they could bring the homies out to work yeah and when once once the homies came out to work um it was supposed to be this other who I named Hardigan but that fool Hardigan because Hardigan was the one that was helping the Norteños do what they were doing to us but Hardigan didn't work that day so it was another staff named the people. And then, and uh, the homies told the Huda to go into the shower area to open up one of the little closets they had in there, so they could get the stuff to clean up the flood yeah. in the hallway. And uh, 
one of the homies was walking with the hura, but the other homie was hiding in the shower area, uh, waiting for the hura to walk in. When the hura walked in, this fool snatched him from the neck with a towel, and the other homie that was escorting that fool started poking and stabbing that, the hura in the face. Damn. Uh, come to find out, he got stabbed 52 times in the face. And once he got done, once, once the hura was about to go down, like about to fall to the floor, that fool, the hura had enough time to reach for his handcuffs. And when he got his handcuffs, he 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 busted one of the homies' heads. I think it was the homie from Bowling. He snapped. He busted his head open with the handcuffs, but they still managed to get the keys from that fool. Yeah. And the Huda passed out from being stabbed so many times. He passed out, and uh, that's when the homies on Cass side. That's when the two homies started opening the homies' doors. They opened my homeboy's door. They opened like at least three doors, and once they opened those doors, they already had fileros fool. Like they had already sent in. The fileros from the main line from Cleveland, they had already sent them in from the mop bucket. You remember the mop bucket, how they held it, that metal piece that holds it up? Yeah, yeah. They had, they had sent those pieces in, and the homies had broken them down into seven pieces in the uh, in lockup. And and them fools had those already, so when they let the homies out, they went into uh, the Norteño cells that, that, that were doing that to us. They ran into one of them. That fool had his mattress. So not to down talk them fools. They, I mean, I would have done the same thing. Probably tried to defend myself. But yeah, it's like you're yeah, you're outnumbered, dog. These fools got weapons, yeah. and you're gonna you just gonna go out there like yeah. fuck, and I'm just stab you to death. Like nah, dog. You're gonna yeah. do what you gotta do to survive. Yep. And the whole time that this was going on, the Huras didn't hear nothing because it was Sunday, and the homies had told the Huras because they used, they used to play the radio for us on Taft and AC. They used to play the radio on Sunday nights. And that's why you couldn't hear nothing because the radio was bumping loud. Yeah. And you couldn't hear the Huda getting assaulted or nothing. And and once the homies opened the doors for them, uh, the Norteño, the first one, they booked them. And the second one, they got them too. And uh, they ran to, they, they, the hum, to my home, to one of my homies from my neighborhood, another homie, they ran up to my cell. And I already knew this was going to happen. Our whole plan in the kite was we're going to stab these fools, stab the Huda's, get their keys. And then run out and get the when the SME showed up, we were gonna jump in the van and just smash through the gates through through Whittier. We were just kids, <laughs> we didn't know nobody. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, just not gonna work, yeah. yeah I didn't know that part of the plan, dog. <laughs> yeah. And, and w- once the Huras came to my well, I mean the, the homies came to my cell trying to open it, the only thing I grabbed was my phone book and I put it in my sock, like I'm ready, let's roll. And and at the same time they're trying to open it, dog, that's when all the the turtles, the 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 squad came in, dog. They were laying these fools down, fucking them up, dog. Damn. Fucking the homies up. It was it was a few homies, about four homies that got caught up for that shit, and them fools was just beating them up, dog. And after that, you, I mean, I seen the the Norteños come out on the stretcher, dog. And we were just kids, fool. We were woofing on them. We were like talking shit, dog. Like, like yeah, that's what you get and all this stuff, but. The shit was, it was fucked up, man. Think about it, you're older. It's just like, yeah, this fool could have, they, they punctured his lung, and the other one got stabbed in the eye with a pencil, dog. Oh, fuck. And, and, and shit was, it was cold. Damn, man. And, uh, Go ahead, my well, man. That, well, no, nah, so after that, they, uh, they, uh, they locked us down, our lockdown, for, for a whole month straight. A whole month, like, man. No visitations, no nothing. Nothing, dog. We, we was right there, uh. That's when they started shitting all the Norteños out of there. Yeah. That's why I tripped off yeah, when they said that. Nobody came through from north, up north, down. Nope. nope. No one was allowed. Nah, that's when they shot them all out. It was like November 98. And then all the got Bulldogs sh- were allowed over there. Yeah. They all got shot out. Like, I tripped out when uh, they say that they walked the line. They didn't walk the line. They didn't walk the line. They were not no regular compas. Like that was playing the games. They weren't on them units, dog. Like I, I, I clearly remember, dog. Them fools would get rushed right away. It wasn't no P Street. Only, only, went, only unit they survived was on Monroe. That was it. And then, uh, well, yeah, we just got locked down for a whole month straight right there on Taft and AC. They gave us a boil, a boiled egg for breakfast, two pieces of bread and a yeah, milk. Yeah, cheese free. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was cheese, cheese free. free. Yeah, and you for... and Mando gonna get co- constipated after the the freeze, dog. That was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what 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 I, what I just wanted to add is 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 there, there may have been a time when when the uh like the thing is people people don't understand is things happen in in, in segments right so so yeah, yeah uh, they they rode through and what I think it was like ninety three ninety four if I remember correctly but from what I heard they, they you know they were and like I said it, I'm not trying to just uh, say anything about anybody uh but I'm sure they were doing their thing right like anyone would youngsters yeah. one, youngsters want to do their thing right. But yeah. the the thing is, the staff what they try to do is they try to make it so there's there's not that much tension. You know what I mean? So they try to like like fuck like we have to, we have to be able to program here still. 
So I'm sure for yeah. a while they did try to help uh, have him walk the line, and, and that was happening. You know what I mean? Because I've heard them being in Cleveland, I heard them being in Madison, I heard them being in Kennedy, and uh, but I'm sure throughout the years, because there was so much animosity, so much tension, so much disturbances yeah. that they said, "No, nah, we're probably gonna keep them in one one cottage." And then uh, from yeah. there, you know, that's that's when everything everything happened and shit. Yeah, they sent them to uh, they sent them to Laka, but then the, yeah, they sent them out. But yeah, I, I was there from the beginning of '97 to 2002, and there was a nun walking the line. I I can really I can remember that, clearly though. Flip, flip. Being, being that you were you were on the main line when this happened, what was the uh, uh, how was it for you guys? Like, what did you guys hear at the time? And uh, um, at first we didn't know. At first we didn't know what was going on. You just heard the pin. You know they tried, yeah. They try to keep that under the the rug, the staff. Yeah. But then it got out, and then we we were kind of expecting it because you feel like you feel that pressure after a long time. Because like like gangster said, from what I remember, I never seen a, a Norteño walk the line, even in school movement. Even when I got there in '96, mm -hmm. I don't remember those schools walking the line. Yeah, there was free movement back then when I went there. It was like a high school. When a bell rang, you get out of your class and you go and you go into your next class. Yeah. And I don't remember them walking the line. And after that, but you you know that it was building up to that point of like it was gonna explode one day sooner or later. Yeah. And when it when we heard about it, we like damn. We kind of already knew it was coming because the staff took it as a joke. Some of the staff took it as odd. These fools ain't gonna do it. And then you know Newman. Newman was fucking, you know, always trying to bring peace to everybody. But we knew already, like, it, it sooner or later it was gonna happen. Yeah. And it did happen. It, it wasn't a surprise to us. We were like, fuck. We just, we just tripped out because that staff, the staff that they staff, he was pretty cool. Yeah, but, but people were cool as fuck. Hell yeah, he was cool ass staff, and and that's the kind of the thing that got us off guard. Like, damn, why did they get that fool? But. After that, we went on lockdown for almost, yeah, a whole month. A whole month. I mean, we did for a whole month, man. Damn. And then, and then that Nixon shit happened after that, uh, that fool uh, from Sangra. That that's the, a, the, that's his one boy, fool. That fool did that yeah. shit on purpose. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was telling Chris that, that he did it because he wanted to go with his homies. He wanted yep. to go with, uh, with Bandit. So, you yep. know, and then they, and then, then they got another good ass staff, Navarro. Navarro, Navarro was cool. hella cool, man. He was another <laughs> cool ass staff. And, you know, but it was it was bound to happen though sooner or later. It was yeah, bound to and the thing that the thing that's a trip is is we, we uh, like everybody was kids at the time, right? right. And and uh, they paid what with years, right? They didn't a lot of them get broken off. Oh yeah, I'm not sure how much time. I've heard stories, but I'm not like my homeboy that was involved from from my neighborhood. I, I know he got out, but I know he went back in. So I know he he got a, a few years. I'm not too sure, but. Yeah. yeah, them fools got some time. They got beat up too, guys. For the next two weeks, they were there. Every Damn. night, they would have come in there. Fucking oh, so, so they, tag team. they kept them? They kept them in Nellis? Yeah, they kept them in Nellis for like maybe a day or two. And then the other ones that weren't 18, them fools were getting beat up until they until they moved into TS. They moved all of them to TS. Oh shit! And then from there, I'm not sure what they did. Probably sent them to the to the counties or to. Uh, now you can't send those motherfuckers to the halls. Not cats like that. I wonder what the fuck yeah. they did. Yeah, because it's like yeah, but yeah. And again, this isn't to, to glorify anything. It's just to set the record straight. Because I know a lot of people have a, a lot of questions, and there's like been a lot hey, of. Yeah, you know what, dog? I glorify it. That was my childhood years, man. It's like <laughs> now, it's like people out here, dog. They glorify their high school years. They, they glorify yeah. their. The elementary years, they glorify that. That's, that's I glorify that. That's where we came from. We graduated from there. But what, what I'm saying is like the, like the the violence and all that. It, it is yeah. it is fucked up. Looking back as adults, you know what I mean? Like it is fucked up, dog. You know, like 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 uh, you, you know, those are those are children that were getting stabbed up, and yeah. you know that, that like you said, the staff out they were cool as fuck. So it's it, it's a fucked up thing. But at the same time, like there, like you said, there was pressure. Like the people were like, it's gonna explode, and the staff weren't doing anything to really calm that shit down you know like they were just like yeah. you said they were, they were taking sides or they were fucking fucking with people and and kids yeah, are gonna putting those on food. yeah food restriction dog yeah and kids Ooh, yeah, kids are fucking wild dog kids are, kids will do what they do but yeah, yeah. The, um yeah but fucking uh um that's you know that that's a motherfucker man yeah no, that shit was a trip right there then yeah how was it in, oh, on, when, go, when, go, when people speak about they they dropping nellis and all that that, that, that never happened dog 
they I remember them talking about it, mm. but it never happened. And, yeah. and yeah. people that never went to Nellis can't even speak about it because man, Nellis was active one way or another. Yeah, I never yeah. heard no other institution besides TS more active than Nellis. Yeah, and yeah. Everybody else, everybody else was like I, if I heard like going to Paso was programmers and you know. They had the little situations there, but not not like Nellis and TS, dog. Nothing like that, dog. Yeah, no, there's, 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 like yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's writers everywhere. It's just Nellis is young fucking kids, and that's the thing. There were young kids, and I've even yeah. heard stories where people would be like, they would trip out because because it's like uh, uh they didn't really know what they're like. Kids don't really know too much, right? All they know is yeah. is like if you see, like for example, if they see a a, a Norteño or somebody else, right? They're not yeah. gonna trip on them as they see their enemy instead, because their enemy yeah. they know from the streets. It's like this motherfucker really got my homies. Like this fool's all the way in. That's him. Yeah, he's in Salinas. He's in Sacramento. Like we don't really, we don't really beef with them like that. You know what I mean? So it's like to them. Yeah. But when you're a kid, you you remember you have that fresh memory where it's like, oh shit, this guy got yeah. the homie. You know what I mean? So I gotta get him. Yeah. So yeah, it, 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 it's yeah, it's crazy. It's cr just young kids, young kids acting a fucking fool, like a motherfucker acting a fucking fool. Now this was full of cats. <laughs> they really did, that, didn't know how to act. They like that one dude that killed himself on a Sunday, dog, and everybody started shooting at him because he canceled visits, though. Oh, <laughs> that's fucked up. So no yeah. empathy. You no. You can hear that across the street. I was mad at yeah. you. You can hear him fool. Yo, dead shit. Yo, dead shit. <laughs> Damn, for real, like, oh, that's what I'm saying. He like, killed himself on a Sunday morning, dog. Yep. He canceled visits. They canceled and visits like, for oh, another no. month, G, another month. They, gave, they didn't give us visits for it. Damn. They pumped him up to kill himself right there the, from the vents, dog. And, they, and that fool did it. And they, and they, <laughs> they canceled told the visits. Where they were told you? them, hey, we're going we're gonna, to, you know, we're going to flood and get the staff attention. Then tell them that you're hanging there, so just hang there, and then we're going to call them. And that fool hanged himself, and they were waiting. That fool, they never called the staff, dog. They nah, never man. called them. That's fucked up, man. See, see that's Big M found them. Big M, Martin found them hanging. Damn. And, and he tried to get the rope out of his neck, but I remember Big M told me that the rope was so deep in his neck that he couldn't do nothing God, about it. God, my no fucking more. goodness, man. Yeah. That's Instead fucked up. Everybody just being like, damn, that's fucked up. Everybody was like, fuck you. Yeah, we were mad. They were yeah. mad, dog. Yeah, you know, and it's crazy because, like, as kids, you you had at least for me, I had to learn empathy. You know, like like I, I it wasn't something that just that I picked up. Like I had to learn that shit because in Nellis, it makes you brutal like that. It makes you fucking like man. I don't give a fuck. It ain't me. Yeah, yeah. It did, bro. That victim awareness helped out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Not really though. I didn't learn. I didn't learn fucking empathy till I got out, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, low key, I look back at I look back at things, certain things. There there are certain things where it's like, okay. We show videos to our family. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, uh we hold large groups and small groups at home. Uh low key. But yeah, just, I wanna thank you gentlemen for, for sharing that story again. Uh I'm not trying to glorify anything. I'm just trying to tell the story, set the record straight. Uh Nellis was an active institution. There was shit that would have, and any institution where you have young ass, crazy ass fools, not even young ass, but you just ask crazy ass fools, that shit could turn up. Any, anyone. You know what I mean? So it's Man, like. Hey, hey, Nellis, Nellis was, you see the hardest fool dog walking in, the hardest dude, I don't care who he was, if they found a bitch in you, it brought it out of you, dog. Yeah. It brought it out of your ass, man. It really did, man. You yeah. Know, I've seen a lot of fools go through there thinking like they were, you know, you know, hard as fuck, and somehow, some way, somebody find a bitch in them, and that was it. Yeah. yeah. It, what I always say is that uh, um, in Nellis, you had to you had to draw a line, right? And it's like you can't even let them cross the line. If they approach that line, you take flight. You know what I mean? Fuck, fuck, letting somebody cross the line on you. The facial expression. Yeah. Yeah. I used to, man, I used to be a pressure king, dog. What, anything, dog. I used to just be on it, but for no reason, dog. For no reason. I, I remember one time I came back to the unit from, from church movement, and, and the fools were like, hey, there's lost, fool. And man, I got so pressured, I backed that fool up. <laughs> I backed him up, dog. I took his shit. <laughs> I remember Damn. that shit. We came back from church. We, were, we had just 
finished praising the Lord Jesus and, the, <laughs> and walk in and then, ah, ha, the Lakers lost. Ah, ha. <laughs> who, who, he ran to the, he ran to the, uh, oh no, he boxed him first. He went, oh, he was, and then he ran to his locker, empty his locker out, and he was, gee, gee, why are you keep my stuff for? I was just playing. <laughs> That's so, fucked up. And I feel bad for the guy after that. And I told G, like, hey, they, like, I gave it a couple of days. I'm like, hey, just go back to shit, dog. And then, yeah, come on, Flip, so... talk to him, please. Talk to him because, you know, that's my stuff. And I need it. That's the only shit I have. I was like, all right, dog, hold on. And dog, the only motherfucker that can get to G was me, man. The only motherfucker that can talk to him. And I talked to him, and he goes, all right, fuck it. He gave back all his shit, dog. He was all happy. Like, <laughs> but he was that's, a pressure case, dog. I, I used to be a pressure case. So that's a change, though. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like that's what I say. I, I don't. I don't glorify that shit. I just spit spit it how it was. It's, there's a lot of stories going on, uh, where people are getting different uh, perceptions of what Nellis was. And what I will say is this: I will say there's writers from everywhere, right? Yeah. I'm sure yeah. if uh, you know the North Daniels, uh, if we were up there and they had a clean house, they would do the same thing. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. and it's it's everybody. Hoovers, Crips, Bloods, Bulldogs, they would have all did the same thing. Yeah, when it's time to clean yeah. house, it's time to clean house. And it's yeah. unfortunate, though, because we did that shit, and that cost homies years of their lives. Uh, innocent man got stabbed in the face. Uh, yeah. And, you know, other young kids, they got they got shanked up. <laughs> but the way we justified it back then is that's part of the game. It's, yeah. fuck, it's fucked up, man, but, but that's the way it is. I'm just glad now I'm a free fucking man, and I'm living my life, and I get to uh, chop it up with, with you two gentlemen. You know what I mean? Hell yes, yeah. Yes, sir. Likewise, Hell dog. We're living our lives very positively. Yeah. We got to get in that day room, fool. Me and this fool flip. I'm girl. down, dog. Yeah. I, 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 I've been, I've been uh, I don't know. I've been texting gangster for like three weeks, but that's like, damn. Right. I thought he was mad at me, dog. This fool, no response. What's up with man, gangster, you, man? Hey, Chris, dog, you always been that soft dude, man. <laughs> it's personal, man. No, don't take it personal. <laughs> we over here working, man. Dog. We no, just, just, here. no, just that's yeah, why I was. Yeah. I, I, I called. I I I text. I, but I I don't. I, I I know you guys are busy. That's why I text. You know what I mean? So I'm like, let me text. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'll 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 fucking uh, well, gangster. Mom. I give him a little bit of space because I know gangster's a pressure case. You know what I mean? We'll fucking we'll, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll flip. I'll hey, fucking the, I'll straight fucking. Be, hey, fool, answer your goddamn phone. Hey, I don't mean, what the said, fuck? Hey, G, he sent me a long ass text message. I was and a pressure. Like, uh, call me, man. I ain't got time to read this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was stupid. Yeah, nah. So yeah, I was just, I was just like, fuck it. Let me, let me, let me hit these these fools up. You know what I mean? And I changed, I changed my number, Chris, because uh, when I be working on the scaffolds, too, sometimes the phone will fall or I'll sit on oh, it shit. and I will just grab a whole new phone. I like fuck it, and then I get, I'll get a whole new line. That's yeah. why I'm changing them every time, dog. Like, I, yeah, I, that's why I told Flip, hey, this fool's number the same, dog? This fool don't hit me back. And he's like, man, gangster's fucking all in love and shit. I was like, oh, shit, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fool. <laughs> he sprung on the streets. <laughs> he sprung on that scaffold. <laughs> on the scaffold. He's in love with his on trade, you know what I mean? He doesn't know how to act. <laughs> hey, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, we got to do that shit. That shit would be uh, good, dog. Get me a flip in there and the other homie, uh, Angel, fool, get Angel in there. Yeah, I'm down, dog. Oh. The, the, that shit's open, what? dog. Like, the, 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 the day room's open to the homies, fool. So, uh, uh, we'll, 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 when we're done here, we'll fucking, uh, we'll chop it up and we'll make that shit happen. Yes, sir. So, uh, with that, sure. we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Appreciate you guys jumping on. All right, dog. And with that, we out. All Peace. Right, Anytime, yes, G.